So Kevin, tell us a little bit about um, you know the evolution of Flash and and, and this H.264 that looks really great. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, how how things have evolved and where they stand right now. So H.264 is really the next generation and the next step in high quality video for Flash and Air as well. The 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 story of video inside of Flash started with Flash Player 6 when we introduced the Sorens and Spark codec for video rendering. And uh, you know, that was in the early, early days we had video being imported into the Flash timeline and then migrating that video on the timeline out to the Flash player. Um, you know, we had limits of 16,000 frames that were maximum. We had sync issues and whatnot. But it was a first step in, in getting video out to the masses. And leveraging the adoption of the Flash player, even at the time with version 6, was really what people saw um, as, as the key, um, as the milestone changing of creating a brand new experience for video. And before that time, you never really saw a really great user experience in video. You saw a square box. You saw standard video player controls. And since version 6, we've really done a lot to, to help our customers really build really engaging experience with video. Um, Flash Player 7 um, just enhanced that even more. When Flash Player 8 came out, we did something by introducing a new codec into the Flash Player, uh, as well as introducing uh, progressive download video as well. So now you can only stream from Flash Media Server, but also stream from uh, a typical web server. So the ability to get video out to the masses has been much easier. On two video codec made it much higher quality video at much less bit rate. So we saw less the webcam quality and we started seeing more animated shorts go online. We started seeing um, broadcasters start tinkering with putting video online and onto video quality in Flash Player 8. Um, we saw a huge adoption uh, with Flash Player 8 uh, just grow beyond what we had ever imagined with uh, you know, companies like YouTube and the social media uh, companies out there that are really pushing video and pushing that user experience embedded in a web page even farther. So that was on 2VP6. And you know, really great codec. We still support that today. Uh, Flash Player 9 was released, again, with the on 2VP6. But uh, just last December, we introduced H.264. And we did this to really take that next leap into professional video quality online. And using the reach of the Flash Player, using all the great experiences that people are building in the Flash Player, it made a lot of sense to start supporting a standard that everybody already used. Leveraging the knowledge of encoding was extremely important. There's a vast array of tools and technology already available online, you're probably using it today, uh, that already support H.264. So working with our partners, our ecosystem partners, we were able to define what H.264 was going to look like in Flash Player and Air, and, and actually really work hard with our partners to, to make sure we, we were able to play back video that was already out there in the industry, so people didn't have to re-encode. But people who were re-encoding or transferring from a different format, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, the format that we chose and the implementation that we chose uh, was standardized. So that just the knowledge was there, the, the capacity was there to be very successful with high quality video with a great experience.